simple dinners is a sneaky way of getting leftover ingredients and simple ingredients to come together in perfect harmony. Walk with me on this journey. Don't forget to subscribe, hit on the bell icon as we get to creating the most fantastic armchewed burnt garlic butter shrimps, blistered red peppers and a salad with some day old bread. Let's get to it. While roasting your peppers, you can always put it in the oven at the highest possible temperature, allow it to broil or like me on a naked flame, allow the flames to lick the peppers, blistering it through and through. This is a simple process, it takes about four to five minutes. Five minutes into the process with this perfectly blistered and blackened, we're just going to take it out. Scrape the skin off, leave a little bit of the charred part to add to the flavor and create a dressing. One out of the three items, done. A kg of tiger prawns, deveined and the middle shell removed but I've kept the head and the tail just to add to the elegance. So into that goes a generous sprinkling of extra virgin olive oil. Go as liberal as you enjoy it, it helps in enhancing the flavor of shrimp and some celery sea salt. These are just the two ingredients that go into this. Celery is a great enhancer and dehydrated just adds to the flavor. So a quick toss and we let this sit on the side for about 15 minutes and we get to grilling them. Now this is my sneaky way of getting day old sado bread into creating the perfect crouton. So into a hot non-stick pan goes in nearly 15 ml of extra virgin olive oil and about 40 blobs of butter. So allow it to melt and we're going to infuse it with a whole lot of fun. As the butter melts and froths up, this is the perfect indulgence for crouton. So into this goes six cloves of garlic finely minced along with nearly half a bunch of regular parsley. Just allow them to sweat together, infusing with each other before you just take half a sado loaf and dunk it right in. I've had the largest loaf of bread, so that goes in. And we're just going to let that garlic, butter and parsley in fuse with it and crisp it up slightly. Like I said, sneakiness always comes handy in using leftovers or things that are lying in with nobody using it. All we're going to do out here is allow these croutons to crisp up slightly and form the basis of a great salad just with some arugula. So toss this four to five minutes allowing it to crisp up and you're good to go. Highest possible flame, I'm just waiting for this to crisp up forming the perfect croutons. For me this is a great snack to indulge and binge on. While the peppers get barely tolerable that you can touch it with your hand. All you need to do is rinse it in cold running water till a bit of the black comes off. Remove out the center seeds and pits, keep it on the side and get to creating that most fantastic dip or dressing that goes with it. So here I have about 20 ml of red wine vinegar going into a bowl. And finally into this goes some extra virgin olive oil, nearly 15 to 20 ml. You don't need to even emulsify this. It's just about getting those flavors totally riled up. A fine sprinkle of some sugar, freshly milled black pepper, and finally a little bit of some celery sea salt. So celery is the hero out here, riding through all into this. A quick whisk just so that the flavors intensify and finally the pepper I'm just going to roughly tear it up and dunk it and allow it to marinate and macerate in this. Voila! 
warm peppers absorb the flavor of the red wine vinaigrette along with the olive oil. A fine sprinkle of some flat leaf parsley, just about a teaspoon worth, just so that green elevates the red. A quick toss and it's time to go into a bowl. If you've noticed, I've left the grilling of the shrimps for the last because that's the star and the hero of the dish. Croutons done with perfect sado bread. Now is the time to create that gorgeous flavored butter, amchur burnt garlic. Who could have ever thought of a combination so worthy? Now smoothening butter requires a process that is the most comfortable to do. So. A bowl, a firm grip and a spatula gives you the most smoothest and glorious of softened yellow salted butter. Once this is done into this, we're just going to add everything right in. So a teaspoon of Amchur powder. Now Amchur powder is dried mango powder. So a teaspoon of that going in along with one green chili finely chopped for that extra zing roasted or burnt garlic so nearly eight cloves of that going in along with about a teaspoon of finely chopped parsley whip this up together a fine sprinkle of some celery sea salt and you have the most fantastic armchur and roasted garlic butter and just gently whip this in Slight aeration lightens this entire creation and finally this goes into a bowl just to dollop on top of those fantastically grilled shrimps. So just put this into the bowl. With all this done and the shrimps marinated perfectly well on a very hot cast iron, I'm just going to give it a fine drizzle of some extra virgin olive oil. I cook shrimps in a very, very different way. A hot cast iron is required. Line the shrimps a minute on each side and nothing more because there's nothing more disgusting than shrimps that are rubbery and you switch the heat off and allow them to cook on that hot cast iron with its residual heat. I have switched the cast iron off because I want the shrimps to cook in their residual heat. The moment you see them slightly turning pink, it's time to turn these gently so that they do not disintegrate. With the gas switched off, a fine sprinkle of some celery salt on top, along with a slight kiss of some freshly milled black pepper. This shrimps are grilled perfectly well. All we need to do is plate and enjoy a fabulous dinner spread. With a fantastic dinner ready, all this requires is wedges of lime just to style it up a notch or two. So one lemon cut into four nestles on the side and you have a fantastic dinner to enjoy with your family. 
Very DIY in the making, the purpose is achieved, simple ingredients and leftover ingredients going right in. I hope you enjoyed creating this with me. Perfect flavours for a midweek dinner. Don't forget to share loads of love by hitting on the like button. Stay safe, stay blessed and more importantly, don't forget to subscribe.